In this video, I'll be adding plants to the vivarium. First, I add clay pebbles to the bottom of the vivarium. I fill it until it's about 4 cm deep. Next I add water. This is absorbed by the clay pebbles and I keep on adding until there's about 2 cm of standing water in the vivarium. I cover the pebbles with two sheets of nylon mosquito netting. This is to stop the substrate from migrating into the clay pebbles. I had a piece of apple wood that I wanted to use as hardscape, so I cut it into a smaller stump and clean it with bleach. After cleaning, I drilled a hole and added a plastic pipe to keep it stable when standing it upright. I added some sphagnum moss to help stabilize the stump when standing it upright in the vivarium. All the cables and pipes were then placed in the correct position before adding the substrate. I made my own substrate based on an ABG mix. This means one part soil, a few parts sphagnum moss, some coconut husks, charcoal, bark and sand. The substrate is then added to the vivarium. Two containers with loads of springtails was then added to the substrate. I started planting. All the names of the plants that I know is in the description of the video below. Unfortunately, the humidity of the vivarium is too high for the Phalaenopsis orchid that I initially planted. But after some research, I found orchids that's much better suited to this environment. I added a small local house spider to help with pest control. Some small white isopods were also added. Arrival of the new batch of orchids. This is the vivarium shortly after everything was planted. And a few months later, a small fig tree was added later. Currently, everything is growing reasonably well, and in the next video, I'll talk a bit more about the larger fauna. Thanks for watching!